Hi everybody. Today's demo video is on a special technique that is essential for building complex hollow pieces, the Jesus seal. I'm not sure how this technique got its name, but the popular story is that the first time somebody did it, they did it accidentally and they exclaimed, Jesus, it's a miracle. There's no way to know if there's any truth to that, but we do know that the technique works, and once you learn it, it's quite easy to do. Here are some examples of pieces that were made using Jesus seals. In this video, I will show you a drill that illustrates the technique in clear detail. I'll be using a setup that allows for several seals to be done on a single piece. I learned this from watching Dustin Revere's excellent tutorial on Jesus seals, and I've taught this technique with great success in classes. There's a link to his video in the description. The setup is simple. I join two short lengths of clear tubing parallel to each other. The distance between them is critical to the success of the seal. I have a formula for this that I've developed over time that is simple to remember and applies to all Jesus seals. The distance between the forms to be joined should be about double their combined wall thickness. For instance, if you are joining two pieces that both have 2 mm walls, they should be about 8 mm apart. The wall thickness of the 20 mm tubes I am using in the demo is around 2.4 mm, so the space between the tubes is about 10 mm. It's better to be a little too far apart than it is to be a little too close together. This is because it's easier to add glass to a seal that is too thin than to remove glass from a seal that is too thick. The tools you will need are a good hand torch and a blow hose. A benchtop Bunsen burner is also very handy for keeping things hot while you work. Using my hand torch, I begin by puffing out little blisters from each tube so they grow toward each other. I want them to touch, but just barely. The smaller the tag, the easier it will be to break the membrane. Once they tag, I heat on one side to puff the seal out thinner and thinner. I work to keep the membrane centered by adjusting my heat from side to side. When the seal is thin enough, the membrane breaks and we now have a hollow seal. The rest is cleanup. I start by heating the side of the seal directly below where the membrane broke. I can see the remainder of the membrane inside the seal and I want it to shrink back into the wall of the seal. I heat it, puffing gently, until it disappears. And then I do the same on the other side and finally on the bottom. Now the membrane is entirely gone and I only have to clean up the thin side of the seal. The nice thing about this drill, I call it the ladder, is that you get multiple tries on a single piece. As soon as you are done with one, you move on to the next one. The other cool thing is that we YouTubers also have multiple chances to get it right. Hopefully, by showing you this process three times, you'll get to see every aspect of the procedure. There are pitfalls that everyone encounters when they first learn this trick. The biggest one is too thick of a membrane. This can result from the walls being too close together or from too big of a tag. When it happens, there's just too much glass in the membrane and it won't break. 
or sometimes it does break, but it won't clean up. Instead, it gets bigger and thicker and the seal may fail as a result. Sometimes this can be fixed by picking the excess glass out from the thick side of the seal, but you should try to avoid this at all costs. The other danger is puffing too hard and popping the seal before the membrane breaks. The only way to fix this is by plugging the hole and trying again. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Again, the best way to deal with this possibility is to avoid it to begin with. When done correctly, the Jesus seal is the fastest and cleanest way to create a hollow seal between two pieces. It is the logical alternative to double hollow seals, which are very difficult and require great skill. Jesus seals take finesse and a little practice, but once you get it, you have an invaluable tool for complex construction forever in your repertoire. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.